There are power outages on parts of the Mid-Island as the Comox Valley has been hit hard by wind and rain as well. Dean Stoltz has this part of our coverage. The storm began blowing early in the morning, whipping up waves and cancelling ferry service from Comox to Powell River, as well as on other routes for most of the day. The stormy seas always bring storm watchers out to see the rough water. This is along Point Holmes near Comox. The winds peak around 1 p.m. with sustained winds over 70 kilometers an hour and gusts even stronger. But for some people, it's still a walk in the park. Got your coffee and everything. You haven't dropped it. No. <laughs> Piece of cake. This is nothing for you. No. Hey, I was. I spent my youth on the west coast of Scotland, so at least I'm not doing it in a kilt. So. Uh... The wind or no wind, you're always out here. Life is beautiful in British Columbia, isn't it? You like this? Oh, this is gorgeous. Really? Not too many other people out here, though. Oh, they'll be out soon, yeah. as soon as the wind dies down. But for others, it's more white knuckle. Drivers on the North Island battle heavy rains and lots of standing water on the road. This is Highway 19 north of Sayward. Now, there have been several cancellations because of the storm. Classes here at North Island College cancelled because of power outages. And that's the biggest issue all day for local fire crews that respond to numerous calls of down power lines. This is our fifth call. In about three and a half hours, uh, trees are coming down. We want people to be careful with the fact that uh, uh, these down power lines can re-energize. The wind also caused a very close call for one of his firefighters. It's been extremely windy this morning. Uh, we had a, a big spruce tree come down and almost hit one of our firefighters. Uh, it's, it's pretty hazardous out there. It's and for BC Hydro crews, the work has been non-stop as the wind and falling trees cut power to thousands of people the hardest hit areas right along the east coast of the island from Denman and Hornby Islands to Campbell River. Because a lot of the customers that were impacted by the power outage were localized in the Comox Valley, Campbell River and surrounding areas, we have been able to send crews from other areas of the island up there to help. The lights are slowly coming back on and some ferries are now running again as well.